Hoppla.
Do you want to play Find the A Chord? Yes! This is a fruit stand. Where should I hide the A Chord? Maybe I'll put it next to the bananas. No. How about behind the oranges? Meh. Oh, I know. I'll put it on the watermelon. Okay, Eve, come and find the acorn. Okay, you know how to play. When I say warm, that means you're getting close to the acorn. When I say cold, it means you're far away. And when I clap, that means you're right next to it. Hey, let's practice. Let's all clap together. Ready? Clap! Good job! Remember to clap just like that when Eve is right next to the acorn, okay? Great! Is it... here? Uh-uh, you're cold. Am I close? Brr, still cold. Getting warmer? Warmer? Let's tell Eve that she's right next to the acorn. Remember how? Right! Clap your hands! <laughs> yes! We found the acorn, we found it over here. We found the acorn after looking everywhere. We found it, we found it, so let's all clap and cheer. It's my turn to hide the acorn. Sammy, close your eyes. I'll put the acorn next to the bananas. sound? Let's listen to it again. 
What could it be, Bonnie? Sounds like a cricket. Yes, a cricket. That's right. Okay, now I'm going to play another sound for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh did you hear that? Let's listen to it again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What could it be? I know. That's an owl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. An owl! That's right! Okay, now I'm going to play another sound. Get ready! Did you hear that sound? Let's listen to it again. So, what could it be? I think I know. Someone snoring! <laughs> <laughs> Someone snoring. That's right. Bonnie, let's listen to the sounds again. Cricket. Owl. Snoring. <laughs> so, Bonnie, can you guess where you can hear those sounds? I can, I can. Whee! Those are sounds from night time. That's right, Bonnie. Night time. <laughs> Wee. come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And for every family, there are so many ways to have fun together. So why not take all those countless ideas for family fun and join them all? Baby First TV is proud to launch Family Fun Time, a new daily block that celebrates all the fun and bonding that parents and children can have together. Break a family sweat on My Gym at Home, where you and toddler can get fit and have fun. Create exciting crafts with your baby on Baby DIY. Is he funny? Sing and dance with your little ones on Swing and Sing. Let the whole family experience the magic of storytelling on Baby First Tales. So tune in to Family Fun Time and discover a place where there's more than enough family fun to go around for everyone. Family Fun Time every day at 11.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. only on Baby First TV.
my favorite shape. Red is for strawberries and big reindeer noses. Yellow for sunshine and even some roses. I love all colors. I think they're the best. So come join us all in our big color fest. Petey the Paintbrush! Hi, I'm Petey the Paintbrush. I love to paint using all different colors, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. What's your favorite color, Petey? A favorite? I don't have just one favorite color. I love them all. I choose colors by what I feel like painting that day. What do you want to paint today? Hmm, today I feel like painting... Hmm, a chair! What color should I use to paint a chair? Today I'm going to paint with blue. And I'm going to start by painting a chair. This comfy blue chair is perfect to sit on. Hmm, what else can I paint with blue? I know! A blue frisbee to play with! I can use blue to paint a big blue bow too! Watch this! You can put a blue bow in your hair or on a gift! You know what else you can paint with the color blue? A coat. A nice blue coat to wear when it's cold. Today, I painted with blue. I made... A comfy blue chair. A fun blue frisbee. A big blue bow. And a blue coat to keep you warm. I bet you can find something blue to paint today, too. I love color. Oh, yes, I do. I love them all. Do you love colors, too? Bye-bye. <laughs>
today. That's a great idea. Let's go to Bordy the Board. To the board. To the board. To the magical Bordy. One, two, three, four, five. Imagination comes alive. Hello, Fred and Fiona. What would you like me to draw today? I have an idea. Bordy, can you draw a watermelon? Not a watermelon either. How do you know? Well, because watermelons are much bigger. Bigger? Hmm. I think we can get a watermelon this time. Are you ready, Fred? I'm ready. One, One two, two, three, go! go! A watermelon! Oh, oh what joy! Oh, what, what a sight! We were together and got it right! Whee! <laughs> hmm. Hey, Fiona, what's wrong? You look sad. Well, it's a nice watermelon, but I want to see where watermelons grow. Hmm, wait, I know. <laughs> <laughs> A watermelon on a tree. <laughs> That's not right. I think we can get it right this time. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. One, two, three, go! Oh, what joy! Oh, what a sight! We were together and got it right! Oh, no! The watermelon is gone! That's okay. Bordy can help us find the watermelon again. First, we saw the watermelon in the ocean. But that's not right. Watermelons don't grow in the ocean. Then we saw a watermelon on a tree. But that's not right. Watermelons are way too big to grow on trees. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's funny. funny. <laughs> but we finally got it right. Watermelons grow on vines that come out of the ground. Very good, Fiona. Thank you, Fred. Not too bad yourself. Goodbye, Fred and Fiona. See you next time. Guess what? Harry the Bunny, now on weekdays too. Hello, friends. Welcome to my playroom, my favorite place in the whole world. <laughs> Harry the Bunny. He's smart, playful, and very curious. Hey! Children love to play along with him and discover all sorts of new ideas. Is it a little house? Huh. He's always trying something different, learning new words. It's broccoli. Making new discoveries or just making himself laugh. <laughs> Little ones will expand their social skills and their vocabularies as they experience and learn about life right along with the sweet and very funny Harry the Bunny. See you soon. From now on, catch Harry the Bunny each and every day on Baby First TV. Stumpy Trunk, I've got to meet Mrs. Hippo at the mud bath. Oh, hello, friends. Would you like to join me for a lovely bath? Hello, Mrs. Hippo. Hi, Mrs. Hippo. Sorry we're late. There was a lot of traffic in the jungle. Oh, that's okay. Come on in. It's so warm. If you like, you can wait for me in the forest while I take a bath. Okay, Mom. Mmm, it's wonderful and so muddy. Hmm, what should I do? I'm hungry. Oh, very hungry. Oh, what a lovely cherry tree. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I want more cherries. Oh, look, another. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, and another. I want to look for more fruit, but I don't want to get lost in the forest. Hmm, I know. I'll make a path with cherry pits. Then I'll follow them back to find my way to Mommy. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Cherry pits. Hmm. Yum, yum. Oh, delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, another one. Hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's enough for today. I'll head back to see Mommy now. I'll just follow the cherry pits. Oh, I'm so smart. But, but, where did all the cherry pits go? Oh, oh no, all my cherry pits are gone. I'm lost. Mm. Oh, these cherry pits are delicious. I must find some more. No, um, mm. no that's not the way either. What's wrong, Stumpy Trunk? I'm lost. I want to find my mommy. Oh, don't worry, Stumpy Trunk. All you have to do is go north. But, Mr. Lion, which way is north? I don't know. Do you see that star up there in the sky? That is the North Star. Follow it, and it will lead you home. Oh, I can do that. That's not a problem. 
Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, the cloud is covering the star! I've lost again! Uh, oh, and it's dark! Oh no! Oh, I don't know what to do! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Mommy! Come and get me! Oh, it's Stumpy Trunk. Sounds like he needs help. Hey, Charlie Watt, wake up! Wake up, Charlie. I need your light to lead the way to Stumpy Trunk. I know it's late, Charlie, but Stumpy Trunk needs help and it's dark. And it sounds like he's all alone in the forest. <laughs> Stumpy Trunk, what's wrong? You'll wake up the whole jungle. I'm lost and I want to go home. Can you help me, Pixie? Oh, please, oh. I want to go to my mommy. Don't worry, Stumpy Trunk. My friend Charlie will help us find your mommy quickly. You just <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Stumpy Trunk. Follow the light. That was a nice bath, Mrs. Hippo, but I'm worried. It's dark and Stumpy Trunk is not back yet. Stumpy Trunk! Stumpy Trunk! Where are you? There! Trunk. Can you hear, Stumpy, Stumpy Trunk? Trunk? We're almost there! <laughs> oh, Mommy! There you are, my little boy. I was so worried. Where were you? And Stumpy Trunk <laughs> told them about the cherry pits, the lion, the North Star, the clouds, and of course, Peck Seed and Charlie Watt. All this excitement has made me tired. Let's take a nap. Mm, I'll stay in the water. It's so nice in here. Good night, everybody. Turn off the light, Charlie. from under the couch. <laughs> mm, the knocking isn't coming from these blocks either. Mm, I wonder what that knocking could be. Aha! I know. It sounds like knocking at the door. Somebody must be at the door. Who is it that's come to visit? Who goes there? <laughs> what a sweet, gentle sound. Somebody's come over for a play date, but I can't tell who it is. Can you help me figure it out? Sounds 
like some sort of bird, don't you think? I bet it's a dove. Doves have a gentle cooing sound, just like that. It must be my friend Damon the dove. Are you here to visit your friend Tilly? Yes, Tilly, I have. It's me, Damon, and I was hoping that we could play. Can I come in? I was right. It's my friend Damon the dove. Hi, Tilly. I'm so glad to be here. I knew that was you, Damon. You make such a lovely cooing sound. Us doves do like to crrr, 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 coo. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out. A loving cooing for my friend Damon the dove. I'm glad you came over to play with me. Come by again. You never know who will visit next time. Bye bye. Slow music works. We're making slow music. Thank you. 
fast music works. Let's play fast music. Walking to visit Maraca. It's our friend Maraca. Yay! Maraca, listen to our slow music. It's winter at the family farm. The hills and meadows are silent and still, covered in white frost. Everything was quiet. Except for a very strange noise that seemed to come from the machine shed. What's that noise? asked the dust spreader. What noise? I don't hear anything, said Tommy the trailer, calmly. What do you mean you don't hear anything? It sounds like maracas. How can I relax with such noise? exclaimed the dust spreader. Oh, oh, it's my, 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 my teeth. They are ch 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 chattering, confessed Tech, and I c c can't s s stop them. Your teeth? My teeth don't chatter, said the dust spreader. Nor do mine, boasted Tommy the trailer. But, 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 but it's c c cold and I d don't, don't have a c c c cab to c c keep me warm, complained Tech as he drove out of the shed. He wanted to get away from the grumpy machines. P -p -p Perhaps if I m -m move about a b -b -b bit, I'll g -g 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 get warmer, thought Tech. But as soon as he left the shed, the cold wind whipped across him and his teeth chattered even more noisily than before. It's so cold, moaned Tech as he drove around trying to keep warm. The animals were lucky. They were all cozy inside. Nobody should be outside in weather like this. But someone else was out and about in the cold. Someone wearing a hood pulled tightly down over her eyes. How could she see where she was going? She couldn't. That was a close call for Tech. Tech, what are you doing out in this cold weather? asked Molly. Mm, Molly, oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you with your hood over your face. I'm just going to fetch coal from the coal shed, said Molly. You should go back to the tractor shed, Tech. It's far too cold for you to be out here. After she'd filled the coal bucket, Molly rushed back to the house to warm herself in front of the fire. But Tech didn't want to go back to the shed. There he would have to listen to the tractors complaining and making fun of him. So he kept on driving, trying to warm up.
As Tech drove past the cow shed, he saw his reflection in a mirror. His nose was purple. Freezing frosticles. I must be really cold to have a purple nose, he sighed. Then Tech had an idea. He knew how to warm up. He'd visit the animals. They would give him enough heat to keep him warm. So Tech rolled across the farmyard, around the corner, and over to the sheep. How are you, Tech? bleated Serena. Oh, fine, thank you, Serena. But I'm rather cold. Cold? Surely you're not cold. Serena was surprised. Yes, I am, said Tech. That's why I'm wandering all over the farmyard. I'm trying to keep warm. You know what you need, don't you? A woolen fleece like mine. There's nothing warmer than wool. A woolen fleece? asked Tech. Of course. Wool is perfect for cold weather like this. Why don't you ask Molly if she has some wool left over from last year's shearing? Tech's eyes opened very wide. Imagine him dressed in a woolly fleece. Yes, he quite liked the sound of it. He'd certainly be warm, but what if the wool made him itchy or got caught in his wheels? Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Better keep moving. Moving around is definitely the best way for Tech to keep warm. So off he went to find the hens. How do they keep warm in such frigid cold weather? Hello, Winnie. Hello, Cluck. Hello, everyone. You're looking very cold today, Tech. Cackled Cluck. Yes, I am. Aren't you feeling cold too? Wondered Tech. Oh, no, not really, clucked Nancy. We're lucky, aren't we, girls? We've got nice warm feather coats. Yes, lucky indeed, warm feather coats. Would you like us to gather some feathers to make you a warm feather coat? A feather coat for me, said Tech. Although it was a wonderful idea, Tech thought that somehow a feather coat wouldn't be quite right for him. And anyway, feathers made him sneeze. Uh, uh, chew! Thanks very much for the idea, girls. But I'll be fine as long as I keep moving, said Tech. And off he drove before his wheels could get cold again. Tech wondered how Nell the sheepdog kept warm in such cold weather. Hello, Nell, said Tech. I thought you might be huddling in your hut. Nice and cozy and out of the cold. Ruff. Me? Huddling away from the cold? said Nell. I've got thick fur to keep me warm. I'll go in my hut later. If it gets too cold, it's warmer in there. Ooh, I wish I had thick fur like you. Then my nose wouldn't be purple from this cold. And I wouldn't have to drive around to keep warm, said Tech. <sighs> you need a cab, Tech, a cab like the ones big tractors have. Then you'd stay warm, said Nell. Tech liked talking to Nell, but his wheels were getting quite cold just standing there talking. So off he went once again. Tech was tired. He'd been running around and around all day. 
Perhaps I should go back to the machine shed, he said. But he wasn't looking forward to it. He knew what the other tractor would say. Tommy the trailer and the dust spreader would laugh at him and call him Tech the Purple Nose Tractor. They would tease him. Just as Tech was about to turn towards the machine shed, he heard someone calling him. It was Molly. She was standing outside the house and waving her arms like a windmill. What's the matter? wondered Tech. He drove over to her at once. By the time Tech reached Molly, she had hooked the trailer onto the back of the car. Where are you going on such a cold day? asked Tech. Molly had no time to explain. After all, it was far too cold to stand around chatting. Tech drove onto the trailer in a jiffy. Molly jumped into the car and off they went. The biting wind froze Tech's lights and stung his face. He was too cold even to toot his horn. Where was Molly taking him? At last, the car slowed down and stopped. Freezing frosticles! Thank goodness for that! exclaimed Tech, as his teeth chattered some more. Come on, said Molly. The little tractor was glad to turn his wheel so that they would warm up. Good afternoon, Molly, said the garage owner. Good afternoon. This is Tech. Tech looked around nervously. Th 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 this is a place that, 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 that sells tr tr tractors, he said. Surely Molly wasn't going to sell him, was she? M Molly, you're not going, going to sell me, are you? He asked in a trembling voice. Sell you, Tech? <laughs> How could you think of such a thing? Laughed Molly. The trick is to find one that's small enough to fit him, said the man as he grabbed a frame with a window in it. A cab! yelled Tech in excitement. It's a cab! Well, after I saw you shivering out there in the cold this morning, I called the garage, said Molly. I thought that it was time for you to have a cab to keep you warm. Let's see if this fits you, said the man. He placed the cab on Tech. Well, you look warmer now, Tech. Yes, it's a perfect fit said Molly. We'll take it. This cab will keep you warm, Tech, said Molly happily. Then Molly noticed that Tech's nose had changed color. It was red again. After paying for Tech's new cab, Molly and Tech said goodbye. Goodbye, said Molly. Goodbye, beep beep, to the Tech in his new cozy cab. The ride home with his new cab was wonderful. Tech didn't feel cold at all, not one little bit, and he tooted his horn happily at everyone who could see his shiny red nose. Beep, beep! Everybody's good at 
something. I'm very good at touching my toes. Everybody's good at something. I'm very good at blowing my nose. I'm very good at squeaking loud and high. See? Everybody's good at something. You've just got, got to, to try. try. Everybody's good at something. I'm good at running around and jumping up and down. Everybody's good at something. Oh, and I'm good at rolling round and round and round the ground. I'm very good at squeaking loud and high. Everybody's good at something. You just got to try. La 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 la. I squeak loud and high. Oh, everybody's good at something. Got to try. <laughs> Move over. A turtle, a frog, a penguin, a lobster, and a gull went rowing in a small boat. Move over. From the water, a voice said, "Move over, move over. Make a little room for me." So they all moved over and said, "Welcome aboard, Hippo. We've made a little room for you." This is a small boat," said Lobster. "We'd better not make room for anyone else." Move over. Then another voice said, "Move over, move over, make a little room for me." There's no room," said Lobster. "No room." Please," begged the duck. So they all moved over and made a little room for him. This boat is really crowded," said Lobster. We'd better not make room for anyone else. Move over, move over, move over," said yet another voice. "Make a little room for me." The boat is full," said Lobster. "There's definitely no more room." Pretty please, please," begged the crab. "Pretty please." So they all moved over and made a little room for him. This boat is much too full," said Hippo. "We'd better not take any more." "Move over, move over," said a deep voice from the water. "Make a little room for me." It's a really bad idea," said Lobster. "This boat will surely sink." "Oh no, it won't," said Hippo. And he moved over and made a little room for Alligator. "This boat is low in the water," said Hippo. "But it's not sinking." "Move over, move over," said a tiny little voice. Make a little room for me. It's okay," said Duck. "Snail is so small." So they all moved over and went swimming. Glug glug. Thank you. 
clown around. We are opposites. We're never the same. That's the yo-yo and peanut game. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Yo-Yo and he's Peanut. We're best friends and this is our game. When I go up, I go down. And when I wear a smile, I wear a frown. You see, we can be friends, though we're never, never the, the same. same. Thanks to our thanks to our opposite game. game. Presenting the Yo-Yo and Peanut Show. Look, it's Henry the Hippo and Seymour the Snake. Hi, Henry. Hi, Seymour. Hi, guys. What are you two doing? Taking a walk. We were chatting about how much we look alike. Really? Why, yes. Look, we both have big green eyes. And we wear the same tie every day. Well... There's one big difference. You are fat. Big and handsome, indeed. And you are thin. Thin. Hmm, I'm fat. Fat. And I'm thin. Thin. I guess that's true. I never really thought of it that way. Hmm. So, I'm thin. Thin. And I'm fat. Fat. You are both very handsome, but you look pretty different. Do you think it makes that big a difference? Nah, I still think we look alike. I think so, too. Bye, guys. See you later. Fat. Thin. We may never be the same, but we love the opposite game. Ha, ha, ha. 
polka dots. Oh. Uh -huh. 
silence. It's a nice thing at two in the morning. Welcome to night programming from Baby First TV. Soothing and relaxing programs that can help put your little angel to sleep. Developed by educational experts, shows like Night Night Lullaby create a tranquil environment by using famous lullabies coupled with real children's drawings. Our night programs offer you that gratifying parent-child experience known as sleep. Night programming. Every night. Only on Baby First TV. seem a perfect match but look a little closer you'll find that there's a catch when one thing just stands out and three things look the same we have to point it out and call it by its name what's different what's different I found it what's different we're going to look at four pictures. Three will be the same, but one will be different. Let's look. It's a tree with green leaves. A tree with green leaves. What's next? Another tree with green leaves. That's a tree with green leaves too. One more. Let's see it. That's a tree with leaves too. Is it green? We have four trees with leaves. But they are not all the same. Can you spot what's different? Is this tree with leaves different? No. This one's green like most of the others. How about this one? This one is green, too. This one matches the other trees with green leaves. So what's different? This one is different. This one is autumn colored. These are trees with green leaves. The tree with autumn colored leaves is different. Good eye. You can spot what's different. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
Ship. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Take a nap, Jack. Take a nap, Jill. Wake up, Jack. Wake up, Jill. Two little blackbirds sleeping on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Yay! Insecto. Un insecto corre en la tierra moviendo sus patas con facilidad. ¡Corre, insecto, corre! Insecto. ¡La hora de contar! ¡Contemos cámaras! Una cámara Dos cámaras Tres cámaras Cuatro cámaras ¡Contemos otra vez! Uno Dos Tres Cuatro Cuatro cámaras ¡Contemos cepillos! Un cepillo, dos cepillos, tres cepillos, cuatro cepillos. ¡Contemos otra vez! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. ¡Cuatro cepillos! ¡Eso es! ¡Contaron muy bien! ¡Nos vemos pronto en La Hora de Contar! La palabra del día. Word of the day. Oreja. Ear. Oreja. Ear. Oreja.
flores para ti. Mami, esta flor es para ti. Mami, este beso es para ti. Mami, este dulce es para ti. Mami, esta sonrisa es para ti. Te quiero, mami. Azul, 